Hello everyone and welcome to the official groundbreaking of the new Genesis Medical Center. As chair of the Genesis Healthcare System Board of Directors, I've had the privilege of helping to guide and support the organization's efforts to provide quality, compassionate care to our community. We've accomplished so much since Good Samaritan and Bethesda came together to create Genesis. And the greatest accomplishment is the reason we are all gathered here today. Building a new medical center has been a dream we've had for many years, and it is so exciting to see that dream become a reality. We are also filled with gratitude towards all of the individuals and groups whose tireless efforts and contributions are making it possible for the new medical center to become a reality. We ask for your special blessings upon the Genesis sponsors, board members, senior leaders, health care professionals, volunteers, employees, and all other members of this community whose hard work and support of this project reflect their dedication to you and their support of this entire community. We thank you for this opportunity to gather together. We ask your special blessings upon the construction of this new center. We ask you to especially empower and guide all those involved in building it, including the architects, engineers, contractors, and construction workers. Enable them to construct a building that is more than bricks and mortar, more than glass and steel, more than cement and concrete, a building that provides a healing environment for all who enter. Continue to infuse and inform and motivate and inspire all members of the Genesis community who will one day work in this new center. Quicken all of our hearts and minds so that we too can fully envision and implement the benefits that you want to see in this new medical center. By the power of your spirit, enable all of us to go forward with a renewed sense of our mission to provide compassionate quality care to this entire community. And all this we pray in your beloved name. Amen. This is truly a great day for Zanesville, the region of Southeast Ohio, and all of us who, co who call this region home. I would like to begin today by recognizing a group of special volunteers who have given tirelessly of their time, talent, and treasure to support and lead Genesis over the many years of our existence, our board of directors. They are truly the rock in which Genesis Healthcare System is, uh, is built. One of the reasons why this is such a great day for our community is that it is a shining example of what we can accomplish when we truly believe in ourselves. Many around our state look at us as just another small town in Appalachia with all that goes with that moniker. After all, this is just Zanesville, right? Wrong. The only people that can, do, that can change this perception is all of us working together. And the best way to do that is through exceptional accomplishments. Nothing builds a positive self-image, be it in an individual or a community, like accomplishing something great. On the outside, this project looks to be all about a new hospital. But in reality, this project is all about fulfilling our mission to provide high quality, compassionate health care for everyone in our community at a level to the best institutions in our country. What this project is really all about is simply a means to an end and not an end in and of itself. It is about creating a space where people, the people of Genesis can do what they do so well. It is about bringing alive healing and hope for those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. Our doctors and the entire staff of Genesis create this healing every day. It's about our friends and family taking care of friends and family right here at home. When we or a loved one becomes sick, it is the most personal thing in the world. When you or a loved one's health is threatened, we are scared, anxious, and in need of compassion and a caring, healing hand. That is what the people at your new hospital will provide better than anywhere else that you can go. For over a hundred years, we have sought to meet the needs of Zanesville and the surrounding communities with high quality, excellent health care that manifests the compassionate and healing touch of Jesus Christ. Care that addresses not only the physical needs, 
but also the spiritual and emotional needs of our patients and those we are privileged to serve. Today we begin another chapter in our service here in Zanesville. This new building represents all that is good and exciting in the future of health care and is meant to preserve and assure all that it is important in the history of our tradition and the service of those who have gone before us. All across this community, we have talked about this day. It has arrived, and I am so proud as are you to be a part of this medical center. It goes without saying that health care is changing dynamically in this country. We have been studying these changes for quite some time and now we are ready to build a world-class medical center based on what we have discovered. And here's what we know. Patients want private rooms. That's what we're going to build. Here's what we know. Families whose loved ones are admitted to the hospital want to visit them several times a day without the hassle of inconvenience of driving miles and miles over busy highways on a stressful time in their lives. This medical center creates that opportunity wonderfully for those families. Here's what we know. In order to survive and even thrive in this new health care environment, inpatient and ambulatory services must be well integrated. Primary care providers and specialists must deeply and in a lasting manner establish relationships of trust, integrity, and seamless referral locally every day. Administrators and hospital managers, with all the wisdom we can muster, have to get this right and take the lead on creating systems of integrated care in our community. We're getting this right for every patient that enters our doors. Lord our God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, your Son healed our infirmities and diseases. When he sent forth his disciples to preach the gospel, he commanded them to visit the, and heal the sick. Grant that in this hospital, the physicians and staff will receive with kindness all patients who will be confined here and will tend to them with care and skill, so that those who are sick may leave restored in spirit and in body for you, forever to praise your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And may Almighty God bless you and this new endeavor in the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.